everyone. So today we're going to be talking about the BMW a little bit. Now I said I was going to go over it once the seats are fully in and show you guys the finished product. So here it is. I'm going to take you through the interior and kind of through the whole car. Yes, it is winter. Yes, it's about like 20 degrees or something like that right now, but I figured it's better time than that. I need to make this video because I got a little time right now. So let's start with well, the trunk is a trunk. We can open up that. Here's the trunk. I got my car cover in there, license plate, the original radio, so, and then the toolkit. We can open that up. Bam. Got all the, most of the tools actually, which is quite nice. The spoiler that's on this car is not an OEM spoiler. The previous owner, or one of the previous owners, put this on it when I bought the car. I actually kind of like this style spoiler. It looks really cool. The wheels that I have on it are from, I believe, like a 2007 or 2008 M3 or M5. They are staggered. Uh, I believe 9.5 in front, 10.5 in back. Otherwise, it's 8.5, 9.5. Yeah, it's 9.5, 8.5, and they're 18 inch wheels. Little big for the car, but doable. Uh, front bumper, that is a custom front bumper. It was a Euro bumper that I bought from a buddy of mine that he had, he custom made it to look like this. So I bought it off of him, threw it on the car. I think it gives this car a lot of character. As far as the color goes, if you guys have been following this car on the channel you know this is a Barbera red it was from like 2005 to 2010 ish it was a special edition color for the BMWs and that's the color I chose to paint this car now let's go on to the inside where some of you know I put in M3 E36 yeah E36 M3 Vader seats and I did color match these I did spray them I have a video of that I'll try and link it up above for you guys or at the end of the video and so far it hasn't started peeling or anything like that and that's that's a good thing as far as the back seats I did paint just these guys as well to match the front so it wasn't a distorted color because with this llama color it tends to fade and I didn't want to paint the door cards even though I probably should have but then I would have had to paint the middle section here the back door card so, so I would have had to remove the whole interior again but I think it adds a little character as far as these seats go they look really good in the car they're super comfortable I wish I could get it to go lower but so be it I'm a tall guy I'm 6'3 so I don't really fit in small cars all that well in the first place so this car did start off life as a automatic now it is a manual when i first bought the car it would not go into any ford gears just reverse so again my one buddy who i bought the bumper off of he w did have a manual transmission he pretty much had everything besides the flywheel and clutch and i was able to source out a flywheel and I bought a brand new clutch for the car when I manual swapped it. Put in the extra pedal you see here as well. And, the, and I've been driving this car as a manual since like 2015. No issues with it, none whatsoever. But I did change the interior out as well. So this car did start life off as llama color interior. However, somebody painted all black, so I wanted to go back to that original color, which I really like this color in these cars. And the exterior originally was actually white. It was uh, not pearl, but had, I can't remember the name of it, but it was just white. And the person painted everything black. So knowing I was going to be changing the color or repainting the car, I figured I would change the color completely. And I'm really glad I went with this red. It was either this or like a blue color but I'm glad I went with red because I really do like this red. All right, next thing we're gonna talk about is the engine. So this engine is not the original engine. Knowing I pulled the automatic transmission on this car, I knew if this engine were to ever fail on me or go kablooey, well, I wasn't too worried about putting 
keeping the original motor because the original motor I believe had well over 300,000 miles. The odometer stopped at 265 well before I got it. So I don't, like 265,000 miles. So I don't know when it stopped. I believe it was back in the 90s. I don't know how many more miles they racked up on this motor. But I believe it had close to, if not well over 300,000 miles on it. Well, unfortunately, I drove the car down to Chattanooga, Tennessee. This was before I did all this to it, all the paint and interior work. Drove it down to Chattanooga, drove it home, and I drove it hard while I was down there, which was very dumb of me. Two weeks later, after putting it away and then driving it, motor came and knocking and it dropped, it dropped the valve hard. I'll try and put a photo of it right here. So it dropped that valve hard, it destroyed the whole engine, so I just ripped it out. Found this engine from an 86 with only 160,000 miles on it. Swapped all the gaskets, put on a new water pump, newer uh, newer alternator when I got the car, and then painted the block. You can kind of see that it's blue down in there. All new gaskets, and then threw this motor back in the car, and it runs great, fantastically. And then I took the, and then got the car painted, did the interior but didn't have the vaders painted and then i actually ended up towing it down to georgia for another car show didn't want to risk driving it because i just did the motor swap and all the paint and everything so i haven't been i didn't drive it for a while so i just towed it down there drove it down there drove it on the track which that was awesome that was a lot of fun i enjoyed that and then ended up towing the car home where eventually i finally got the vaders painted to color match everything and I'm really happy with it as far as this because some of you might ask me about the cross bracing that was on the car when I bought it don't know where they got it from but it was on the car when I bought it so I just left it I like it there but anyways that's it for my BMW I just kind of want to go over it really quickly on the stuff that I've done to it now I've also done brakes put in a brand new battery just this morning actually uh, wheel bearings, well front hub assemblies, uh, fuel pumps, both fuel pumps, main, primary and secondary pumps. Uh, what else have I done? Yeah, there's like a long list of stuff that I've done to this car. Little things, big things, but honestly it runs great. It always starts if the battery is not dead, but when the battery is charged, but that one finally died and put a new one in. But it always starts first time for me. Never had trouble, never really had trouble with the car, except for things like braking because it's, well, old. Oh, the rotor cap and distributor cap. Yeah, the distribution cap and the rotor, that broke on me one night. I was driving the car, all of a sudden, all power got cut, realized, took it all apart. The rotor deteriorated and just took out the whole distribution cap. So, but otherwise the car is, when it's running, it runs great. When something breaks, honestly, it's over 30 years old, something's bound to break with these cars, and that's okay. But, so I just wanna give a quick rundown on the car to let you guys know and see everything finally done, cause I don't think I'm gonna be doing anything else with this car. I have been actually trying to sell it, so we'll see what happens if someone does come and buy it, but I mean, it's been a good car. I've nicknamed it Frankie because of Frankenstein's monster because it has an interior out of, I believe an 87 or an 86. And then the engine's out of an 86. The transmission's from an 85 as well, but a Euro. The front bumper's from an 85 Euro. The car itself is an 85 US model. The paint color is from like 2000, mid 2000s. The wheels are from 2007. The seats are from a 95 uh, 3 Series. So it just, it has a bunch of parts from a bunch of different cars. So I nicknamed it Frankie as a Frankenstein's monster. Sounds corny, sounds dumb, but that's Frankie for you. And he's got quite a bit of character. But anyways, I will see you guys later. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and give it a dislike, but let me know what I can improve on for next videos. As always guys, I'll catch you later. Bye.